Hello everybody, my name is Sonia Kirshner. I'm the CEO of A Power Free Confidence Coaching, Resilience Building and Mind Freedom. I'm here to talk to you about the gender pay gap in the UK, the underrepresentation of women leaders and more importantly, what women can do to help themselves. To start with, I want to give you some relevant and really interesting statistics. Of the 195 independent countries in the world, only 17 are led by women. Women hold just 22% of seats in Parliament globally. In the United Kingdom, about 23% of seats in Parliament are held by women. And in the European Parliament, only 35% of the seats are held by women. Now, the percentage of women in leadership roles is even lower in the corporate world. A mere 5% of the S&P 500 CEOs are women. Throughout Europe, women hold only 20% of board seats. And in the United Kingdom, women hold only 21% of senior executive positions and 23% of board seats among the FTSE 100 companies. None of these figures are close to an equal representation of 50%. So as you know, this year in 2018, UK companies with 250 or more employees had to publish their gender pay gap data by the 4th of April on the government website, the link to which you will find somewhere around this video. So what is the gender pay gap? The gender pay gap is the percentage difference between average hourly earnings for men and women. The recent results, the 2018 results, show that men earn on average 14.4% more per hour than women and that men have on average a 7.6% higher bonus than women. Now note that these are the average figures. In many instances, the average hourly difference between what a man and what a, what a woman earns goes up to 60% and even beyond. Which means that in many instances, men earn up to 60% and more, more per hour than women. Now, don't confuse the gender pay gap with equal pay. Equal pay has been a legal requirement for 47 years. It demands that men and women doing the same job should be paid the same. Under the Equal Pay Act 1970 and more recently the Equality Act 2010, it is unlawful to pay people unequally because they are a man or a woman. And this applies to all employers, no matter how small. So a company might have a gender pay gap if a majority of men are in top positions despite paying the same amount to male and female employees for similar roles. So if you are a woman watching this, I want you to really hear the following message. In addition to the external barriers erected by employers who prioritize men for the top jobs, for the leadership positions, and in addition to the external barriers erected by society in general, women are hindered by barriers that exist within themselves. We hold ourselves back by lacking self-confidence by lacking self-belief and a feeling of self-worth, by not raising our hands and by pulling back when we should be leaning in. We internalize the negative messages we hear throughout our lives, the messages that say it's wrong to be outspoken, it's wrong to be aggressive, it's, more, it's wrong to be more powerful than men. We lower our expectations of what we can achieve. Ladies, 
getting rid of these internal barriers is critical to gaining power. Our internal barriers are rarely discussed and often underplayed by others, but predominantly ourselves. Considering the impact these internal barriers have on our lives and on our careers, they deserve a lot more attention. Remember that our internal barriers only survive because we keep them alive. They are under our own control and so is our choice to address them so that they no longer hold us back. So what are your internal barriers? How are you holding yourself back? How are these internal barriers holding yourself back from being the leader you want to be? And what are you doing or what are you going to do to help yourself to lean in in the crucial moment when you feel like pulling out or pulling back 